Hey guys, so today I have a really cool camera to talk to you about, and it is by the Film Photography Project. It is the Debonair 120. Some of you may be thinking, is this a Holga? Is this a Diana? Um, no, it's sort of its own thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what a 120 camera is, how this one works, for those of you who don't know, because I was, personally, I was new to the 120 cameras myself. Um, but it has a little latch down here to basically slide the entire bottom portion camera off and you've got to be sure to take the shutter the lens cap off okay but it's got a really cool um, system to it it's very simple uh, no space is wasted whatsoever once you put your film in it just rolls over to the other side and your picture takes from the center it's got a really cool way of adjusting the um, focus it's sort of based on symbols uh, much like the Smina symbol is and other cameras but you have the mountains for really far off things you have a little group of people little family for stuff that's a little bit in the distance and you've got this one person which is around one to five foot away from you it's recommended that you take pictures at least five foot away from you though when using the debonair now what makes this camera so absolutely cool is the fact that it's only twenty dollars if you're looking into getting into Lomography and you don't have a camera and you're really wanting to do the 120 format, because 120 is a classic, let me tell you, um, you'll want to go with this one because this is a really awesome 120 camera that is very, very affordable. One of the most affordable cameras I've seen, 120 or not. But to take a picture, the shutter button is right here and you just click it. You hear that click that the picture's taken and you turn it manually. Everything's manual about this camera, so it's pretty cool if you're wanting to get into some analog photography, you're really going to be 100% analog with this. This camera is referred to as the Plastic Filmtastic 120 by those people who use it, and I think it's pretty easy to see why. This is one of the coolest little cameras that I've ever seen, and one of the cheapest. So if you're looking at getting a Lomography camera or just a camera, period, uh, this is definitely the one to get. I'll put the link in the description, but it is from the Film Photography Project. You can see their logo up there. And I'll also show you some pictures that this took. I took it out on a little bit of an adventure um, around the house and then to an overlook too to get, see how sort of the variations in film quality for distance and things like that. So here, without further ado, here's some pictures taken by the amazing Plastic Filmtastic Debonair 120 by the Film Photography Project. 